Balance isn't only for breakfast and for masters of zen. A balanced wardrobe could also do your body and mind some good. You may have nothing to wear because your closet is out of balance. Too many tops and not enough bottoms. Too much denim and spandex when really your personality is soft and feminine. This series is all about getting you and your wardrobe back in balance. So you can think of your wardrobe like the food pyramid. We're all familiar with that, where the base of the pyramid, they're telling you for nutritional purposes, the base of your diet should be fruits and veggies, right? We're familiar with that. Well, you can think about your wardrobe in a similar sense. You can see the pyramid that I have here. So the base of your wardrobe is gonna really be tops. The reason for that is it's gonna give you the most mix and match options. You've probably noticed that you can put on a new top with the same old pair of pants and people think you have a brand new outfit simply because you swapped out the top. So when you look in your closet, the area that contains your tops should really be the largest area of your closet again to give you the most bang for your buck as far as mixing and matching and making more outfits. The second largest area of your closet is going to be the pants and skirts for the similar reason. It's going to allow you to mix and match. Now here on the screen I have it shown in balance like you should have an equal amount of pants and skirts. That may not be true for everyone that's listening to this video. The reason why it's going to depend on your lifestyle, it's going to depend on your body shape, it's going to depend on your personality type, um, how much of each you should have. But really the next largest area of your closet would be what you would consider the bottom, so your pants and skirts. Um, and again, the balance between those two depends on a lot of different factors. But again, that should be the next largest area simply because it's going to allow you to mix and match so much more and give you more outfits. And that's the way it's going to look like you have this huge closet when really you've just been very selective and careful about um, how many tops and bottoms that you have so you can mix and match more than anybody else. The next largest area of your closet is going to be the area of dresses. And so again, this is going to depend on your personality type, how large that area is. But in general, that's going to be the next largest area simply because you can't really do as much mixing and matching with dresses. Um, you can add jackets to them, you know, you can swap out accessories and shoes and those sort of things, but it doesn't offer you as many mix and match options. And again, this is going to depend on your personality type, how many dresses you actually have. And then last but not least is of course the accessories. I always think of these as like the sprinkles on top of a sundae. So you just sprinkle them into different outfits to really make them pop and come together and look very, very put together. I mean, that is really what takes why a fashion spread or a fashion cover or a fashion magazine cover looks so much different than just regular people out on the street. It's because the way the accessories have been picked out to go with the outfit. So it is very important, but it'll probably be the smallest area of your wardrobe. And when I say accessories, I mean everything. I mean um, purses, belts, earrings, necklaces, all of that as accessories. Okay? So, Already, just when the way that I describe this, you might see areas that you may need to invest more in in your wardrobe to give you the most flex flexibility and to make you more stylish and look like you have more outfits than you really do. So as I mentioned before, it could also be dependent on your personality type. So in this video series, there's of course many personality types. We all know that. <laughs> I'm sure you're familiar with that if you um, go to a workplace every day that there are many personality types. But for this video series, I only focused on four. So it's feminine, rocker, athletic, and bohemian. So the first three we've covered in previous videos in the series. In this video here, I'm gonna focus on the last one, which is bohemian. If you're unfamiliar with that term, bohemian really started um, with the 1960s and the hippies era. era. So think of like hippies. Um, however, bohemian has become more and more of a style aesthetic, I would say in the last decade or so, 10 to 15 years. And you've probably heard the term boho chic. When you hear that, it just means bohemian chic. You can Google it. There's lots and lots of outfit options out there for it. Lots and lots of um, photo shoots, magazine spreads, celebrities. It, it's a thing now. The very bohemian aesthetic. And so this may be you. If you have more of a hippie vibe to you, more of a flower child, um, you may, you know, this may appeal to you. So what I'm going to show to you is items that you should have in your wardrobe. So again, 
You may be struggling to find things to wear in your wardrobe because it doesn't contain any of these items and you wonder why it's so hard. Well, if you're more bohemian, you need to have these certain pieces so that you do go to your closet and you do have many options that you want to wear because they represent you. So here we go. So the first for bohemian is the idea of items that have crochet. And I was really struggling with this because it was like, the, the crochet detail can show up in so many different things, um, in, in tops, in accessories, in dresses, as I've shown here. Um, and then I was struggling if I should make this crochet or maxi dress, because really, if you're bohemian, you should have a lot of maxi dresses in your wardrobe. It's going to be so great for you, because it's going to be something you're going to want to throw on again and again to wear. It really, really is going to appeal to you. However, this maxi dress here on the screen, you can say, see that it has a little bit of the crocheting detail in the ruffles up towards the top, and then you can see that line of kind of crochet across the bottom of the skirt. So it's just gonna be those little details. You don't need a whole dress that's just crocheted, but these little details on tops and dresses and skirts are gonna lend itself to your more bohemian aesthetic. So even you're like a bright red dress, how is that bohemian? It has the little crochet details in it that makes it a little bit more laid back, a little bit more bohemian. And in a little while, I'm gonna actually make an outfit out of this particular dress. The next thing is sheer is also something for you. So you can see here, this top has, again, more of that bohemian vibe. It has sheer, think bohemian, light, flowy. It's very um, similar to a, a feminine aesthetic, but a little earthier, a little more, like I said, flower child to it. Um, so you can see here, it's very, it's very light, very flowy, the little sheer, still very feminine. It has the little tie at the neck um, where you can tie the strings and it has the little tassels up there. It lends itself very much to the bohemian aesthetic. So again, in your closet, you're going to want items that have this little crochet details, items that have um, sheer pieces to them. Again, that's going to play up to your personality and you'll find yourself drawn to more items in your wardrobe. The next is the idea of fringe with I, I really love. And this is a little bit, can be a little bit rock and roll as well. But the idea of French, and again, one of the easiest places to add it into is your accessories. So here is, I love a French purse. I've used it in so many outfits that I've put together. Um, but And you should definitely include one of these in your wardrobe if you have this bohemian aesthetic. But this fringe can also show up in accessories, so you can see it in bracelets, you can see it on your boots, you can see it in earrings. And so again, this little detail, you can see it on jackets. These are little details that you want to incorporate into your wardrobe if you have this aesthetic. And last but not least is prints. So in general, the bohemian aesthetic, it is going to be these very colorful but still earth tony sort of prints to it. So if you look at your closet and you have all these solid colors and you wonder, you may be wondering why you're not drawn to them as much, it's because you really will like more of the colorful prints. You need to incorporate that into your wardrobe to bring it more of that bohemian vibe um, that you are drawn to. So again, you could just throw open your closet doors and kind of see what kind of colors and things that you see there um, to determine if maybe that's why you have nothing to wear. You have none of these fabulous prints and I love all these bohemian prints. And if you want to know, more about that, you can just go to Google and type in Bohemian Prints and see all the examples that show up there. So again, like I said, the best place to start is to actually go and shop in your own closet to figure out where you might have gaps in your wardrobe. So I have prepared these kind of shopping lists for you. Think of them, I call them fashion facts, like nutritional facts, to make sure that you're covering the basis based on your personality type. So you can just visit www.aishajones.com forward slash balanced, and you can click on the image there to download this little shopping list so you can go shopping in your closet first. So like I said, you're going to look in your closet, you're going to see, do you have items that are crochet? Do you have items that are sheer? Do you have any fringe? Do you have prints? All If you don't have any of these things, you want to go start acquiring them to incorporate into your wardrobe. And again, you want to look at in all the basic food groups or all the ba basic fashion groups, tops, pants, skirts, dress accessories. Have you incorporated these items to again, identify where the gaps are so you can start acquiring those items and building out this bohemian wardrobe of your dreams and all of a sudden you have a lot of things to wear and you're so much happier in your skin because your closet speaks to you. 
So I promised you that I put together an outfit um, based on this dress. So again, even though this is a solid color dress, when I said, again, Bohemian vibe is gonna be more print, this one was able to incorporate that little crochet into it to make it a little bit more Bohemian. And so then what I did for accessories, you can see I brought in the fringe purse with it and it matches these sandals to wear with the dress. These great like fe red feather earrings to wear with it and then incorporated this silver and turquoise oversized ring with it. Um, with this outfit as well, you can have great turquoise um, necklace, a turquoise earrings as well to wear with this outfit. Because again, I was going, oh, do I want the red feather earrings or do I want turquoise earrings? And really you could go either or. Again, think, you know, bohemian, earthy, turquoise, things from the earth, all of that incorporated into the wardrobe. It's gonna be more of a bohemian aesthetic. And again, I want to remind you to please go and download the shopping list. So again, you could go shopping within your own closet and start trying to fill in the gaps that you have. Um, and like I said in previous videos, we've covered feminine, rocker, athletic, and bohemian. You download there, you will get all four of them, and then you just follow along which, which, to whichever one speaks to your personality. So again, look at the previous videos in the series. If you think you're more feminine, I gave some great tips there, gave you your shopping list. If you're a rocker, again, your tips, your shopping list, things that should be in your wardrobe, athletic, cover that one, and this is the last video for Bohemian. Hopefully you have enjoyed the tips in this series. This has been the Balanced Wardrobe Series. Thank you for watching and get to shopping in your closets.